areas that were just sunny and beautiful today and other places getting dumped down with rain. Typical this time of year in Colorado. We have rain on the way for the Denver area even as we speak. As a matter of fact, it's coming in pretty good from the south. Look at the radar down over Douglas County. A lot of lightning with these storms and they are heading in in the next hour to hour and a half moving from the south to north across the Denver metro area. And in the mountains, the shower activity has lightened up a little bit in the central mountains, but really cool looking clouds. This is in the last two hours up at Loveland Ski Area. Love this part where there's kind of a moving in and out of the valley. The moisture has uh, limited now. It's moved away a little bit at the very end of this time lapse. A little glint of sun coming over the continental divide. In Denver, those gray skies have been gradually darkening down to the southwest of us, and you can see the storm clouds beginning to push in from the left to the right on your screen. So that's from the south heading to the north into the metro area. And look at this, the dark skies we have down on the south side of Denver. It's 85 downtown, 88 degrees at DI. Pressure is currently rising slightly. Winds are gusty out of the west at 20 miles an hour. Now for the next couple of hours, Parker, 7 o'clock thunderstorm in 76. Same thing with Englewood, Wheat Ridge, some storms moving in. By 9 o'clock, the storm's kind of moving out to the north of us. And by the time we get to midnight, the skies start to clear. So by 11 o'clock, we'll see low 70s and partly cloudy skies turn. There's plenty of heat out there. Matter of fact, an update Denver's high today. 100 degrees the second time we've hit triple digits so far this year. That's one shy of tying the record for this day. It was 106 at North Platte, Nebraska. Now there's a weather front off to the north of us and there's some severe weather along that front across the central Great Plains. But around here, it's mostly just heavy rain and lightning out of these storms. This front stays to the north for a while. There is monsoon moisture to the south. Over the next few days, this front is actually going to start to drift southward. The moisture comes up from the monsoon flow, and that one-two combination means quite a bit of wet weather coming up for Colorado. Watch it this evening. 100 at 6 o'clock out at Sterling. It doesn't get all that much cooler on the far eastern plains, but we get the showers and the storms moving from Denver to the north through the evening hours. Lots of rain out over western Colorado as well. But by the time we get to midnight, it's really tapered off on the eastern plains. Still a pretty good band of rain from Grand Junction to Eagle and Aspen. Overnight, it all dies down, but a really warm night. 67 in Denver, 70 at La Hunta, 71 at Lamar, 70 out west of Grand Junction. Front range numbers are going to drop down to the mid to upper 60s by morning with 50s expected in the mountains. We'll start out partly cloudy in the morning tomorrow. Some sunshine through midday and the temperatures jump up pretty quickly, but the thunderstorm activity is going to keep the odds of uh, hot, hot temperatures like today down a little bit. Severe weather tomorrow, mostly northeast corner of the state. Intense lightning, heavy rain, the main threats front range numbers tomorrow going to be in the mid 90s as opposed to the low triple digits so tonight evening thunderstorms then clearing in 65 tomorrow the high temperature not quite as hot at 93 and that trend continues with more moisture coming in on friday not as warm at 88 storms likely saturday and 85 sunday 83 with storms likely and then a little bit drier and warmer again by tuesday but wow triple digit heat today that's a, gonna be a good it thing to get hot. some rain coming mm -hmm. in. Yeah, no. Lawns, kidding. farm fields, gardens going. Ah, yeah. Thank you, you very much. It. Yes.